Hello, we are the design team of Fidget Spinners, and um, this is our Battle for All Group Goldbeard project. I'm Adam Serhan. I'm Joseph Santaloni. And I'm Ayush Jain. Alright, so um, our, whole, our whole goal of the, this project was to design a product that aims to uh, teach ninth grade level science students concepts that they would be learning in class through a fun and interactive way. The way we did this was we created a battle for our group Goldberg, which is basically um, an idea based on a typical group Goldberg machine that uh, teaches um, ninth grade level students ideas like uh, all three of Newton's laws, the basics of electrostatics and conservation of energy. Um, so, we evaluated our customer needs to see what uh, they specifically wanted in, um, this, pro in this product. Uh, this table briefly goes over um, the ranking of the different customer needs, such as cost, portability, safety, um, and how important, it is, how important it was to teach the students the concepts. This is another table doing the same thing. Uh, this one actually gives um, metric, uh, metric units of the customer needs, such as what speed we want the ball to be going um, and the different accelerations. Uh, this is our GAN chart. Basically, this chart, um, this schedule, was uh, how we made sure that we finished by on our deadline. Um, we were given 10 weeks to uh, design and develop this product and uh, this is a breakdown of what we did throughout each of those 10 weeks, how much time we spent on each of the different three stations. and uh, um, Intellectual property. So um, when creating any product it is essential to uh, study different patents from the past, uh, different products that uh, relate to ours to make sure that there aren't any um, current constraints on the product that we are building. Um, some of the things uh, we researched were a uh, burglar alarm that used a Rube Goldberg-like concept to uh, alert um, when there's a home invader. Uh, this patent we found, however, has expired, therefore there are no more there are no constraints on our current uh, product that we have built. So um, for each station, each one of us came up with a uh, different idea using CAD. Um, we all had great ideas and we wanted to see what we could contribute to the project. And uh, starting off with station one, um, I usually came up with the idea of using the spring to go around and go up a ramp. The spring um, would give it mo more, um, more kinetic energy and that would teach um, conservation of um, energy to these ninth graders. My idea was um, for the ball to go down a ramp and hit a fidget spinner and it would propel it in a different direction. Adam's idea was to have a double ramp go up and down, up and down. And what we ended up doing was we came up with the um, idea of using my idea um, and going down the ramp and then hitting the fidget spinner and propelling it in a different direction. But the only the only problem with this is the fidget spinner um, that um, could potentially cause failure because what it happens if the ball goes down too fast, hits a fidget, sh fidget spinner at the wrong angle, ball goes a different way, it, sh um, it causes a lot of failure and that's why um, the fidget spinner's RPN risk priority number is the highest one out of all of them. The ramp's pretty important because it controls the speed and the ramp sides are pretty important because they control the ball, but the fidget spinner if the ball hits the fidget spinner at a wrong angle, um, the whole project is a failure, basically. So that's why its RPN is the highest. Um, so for the final CAD, uh, CAD for Station 1, um, we decided to make the um, replacement of the fidget spinner with a spring because, as we mentioned earlier, the uh, fidget spinner had a higher RPN. So we put a spring there, which was less RPM. So the spring would propel it in a um, and give it more energy, so it could roll faster. Um, and as you can see, it's right when it gets down the ramp, it's gonna go and propel it in a different direction, and hopefully add some velocity to that ball. And um, yeah. 
our CAD designs for Station 2 goes as follows. Adam came up with a um, ramp idea where it'd go through a loop, kind of like the circus. My idea was it would come down, hit a spring, and go around this loop, go around this loop, and go up a ramp, kind of like Adam's. Um, and then Aisha's idea was like a roller coaster with a spring, where the spring would propel it and go around the loop. And um, we ended up going off this design um, where the ball would hit it and it would go around and around and go up a ramp. And uh, the biggest failure um, RPN for um, this project was definitely the spring because what if the spring didn't have the right spring constant and moved it too fast or moved it too little? How are we going to trigger the spring? All this came into play when we were deciding to use the spring or not. And that's why um, its RPM is 201 because it's just very important. And without the spring, if the spring fails, then the whole project fails. So, And um, our Station 2 final CAD design goes as follows. So basically, like I said, Station 1, we switched the spring and the fidget spinner from Station 1 to Station 2 just because the failure rates would go down. And so what happens is... Um, so after the spring hits the ball, it's going to go around this loop, and then it's going to go around this loop, and the fidget spinner is going to hit it. And the fidget spinner will lead it into station three. Um, as you can see, um, the station, it's, um, it's going to hit it right here, and the ball is about this yay high, and so it will hit it at the right angle and um, propel it into station three. So uh, for station three, um, we all came up with ideas kind of like elevators in a way um my idea was for the ball to come down a ramp go up another ramp um of like maybe equal slash lower height um and it would uh go down an elevator and then um it would fall to the end and then Ayusha's idea was using a spring and it go down a ramp and lead into the elevator um what Adam's idea was it was going to hit a spring, go up a ramp, and go down an elevator-like system and come out the hole at the end. And we kind of went off this idea of the elevator up here. So it's going to go up the ramp, and it's going to hit a cup. And since the cup weighs more than the other side of the, of the other pulley, the ball is going to go down, and it's going to lead it into the finish. So the biggest failure, or the biggest RPN for this project, um, this station, was actually the ramp, not the uh, elevator, because the elevator is pretty reliable. But the ramp, it has to be at the right height, because if it's not at the right height, then it could go slower, it could go faster. It really matters what velocity the ball comes up the ramp with, and what um, velocity it hits the cup with, because if it hits the cup too fast, it's just going to... The ball's going to go. Who knows where the ball's going to go. If it goes too slow, it's not going to make it up the ramp. And then, therefore, the station's a failure. So both ways, it could be a potential failure. But we want that ball to go up at the perfect speed. And so that's why its RPM is one of the highest. So basically, um, our final CAD design for Station 3 goes as follows. So the ball's going to go through that loop. At the end, it's going to roll up this. And then there's a cup right here, and it's going to hit the pulley right here. It's going to go down, and it's going to lead out through the finish. And so here's our final CAD design as a model. Here's the um, board that we had. Here's the ramp that they gave us. So we're all going to go down, hit the spring, go around that loop, boom, go around that loop, boom, hits the fidget center, bang, go around that loop, and it goes up the ramp, hits the cup, goes down, goes out, finished. For the aesthetics, we, we looked at product differentiation, ownership, image, and team motivation. For us, product differentiation and team motivation were of high importance. Uh, the product should be different and unique, and the team should be motivated for, for better results. Ownership and image uh, was of medium to high importance, but not as much as product differentiation and team motivation. For the for ergonomics, ease of use was our most important aspect. Uh, the design should should be easy to assemble and easy to operate. 
like that those were our that those were our needs ease of maintenance quality of user interaction were also medium to high quality of user interaction was a bit higher uh because we we just wanted uh, our brg to be adjustable uh, so that the user could 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 like understand what is happening ease of maintenance was also was also medium uh, so ma maintaining it didn't take a lot of time uh po portability was like it was easily portable uh, safety was for safety for us was was on the lower end but like still it was it was pretty high because we we didn't have enough we didn't have sharp objects in our brg for us to to make it for for us to make it like hazardous uh, this is our product architecture uh as you can see from the from the top right the the ping pong ball goes into the spring through the loop and goes to the goes to the second station where we have used our arduino to operate the fidget spinner the it, from the fidget spinner it goes to the the next loop to the next station up the ramp down the pulley and like exits the exits the next ramp the economic analysis <clears throat> our manufacturing cost for the brg turned out to be around 80 dollars uh it took like if 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 uh, if we were like endlessly it would have cost us around three and a half dollars uh, taken into account uh fifteen dollars as fifteen dollars per hour as our uh in payment uh profits turned out to be around ten thousand dollars if we sold around sixty five there's sixty five b r g s uh our max profit was 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 at around uh two fifty which was thirteen and a half thirteen thousand dollars so we 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 were good in conclusion we have accomplished everything that had to be done for this project we have uh, made the brg it it worked our next step would be to modify it to make it more refined uh, for us and for for the students to to understand the concepts more clearly we have learned uh during the process we have learned how like how to work with other people how to how to go how to like work on a schedule that we have we have learned a lot and we have that that's what we've learned